want to know, tell you everybody, the whole reason for, for me doing this class tonight is because of Lisa. It's all I'm her sorry, fault. Lisa. Yep. It's her fault because for some reason, every time I went to put her name in on the list to invite, for invites on Sunday for a Monday class, she missed twice. So, I get rejected. Uh, she got rejected. We kicked her out twice. That's uh, why you work here. Yeah, I know. So I have to, to take do this class just to make it up for her. Yeah. That felt so bad. I think I the last time, the really last time was so exactly my fault. What, your name my is painting not was great behind you. The class I missed. Yeah. Yeah, you missed Beautiful. this one. Five minutes. We painted this in five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I've heard we that mixed before. for we mixed right. for two hours and we painted it in five right. minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That'll happen. I yeah, want to see how you handle the perspective on this house because I cannot figure it out. It's a little. It's a nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank you. No, no, you no. It, it, it looks all square, I already, but I have it drawn twice on my canvas. Flipped it over. Went upside down. No, no, no. The lines are where you do it twice on my canvas too, because I suck at lines and angles and all that perspective. Oh, crap. oh, oh. It's oh, like, oh my quit. God, this one's going to drive me crazy. Quit. You know, I think if you know where the vanishing points are, the perspective will be fine, but I don't know where they are. And because those lines do not go straight across, it's almost like an optical illusion. If you put a ruler on it, I I, have those no lines are on an angle. <laughs> yep, they are. They are. They are. We are. I know. I know the girl who shot this and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's. I'm sure she got down low and took the shot too. Oh yeah, you know, the, yeah, it's a great shot. Well, yeah, we'll have to do some some uh, corrections on this thing and stuff. Visual corrections for painting and stuff, but uh, it'll be interesting. This, this is ready. Okay. I think I got it too big already before we even start. I might have to start over. Am I going to be on there? I might have to bring this down just a hair. One second, and then we'll get going. Well, we're going to get the, get the angles right. Otherwise, it's just going to get painted stupidly. <laughs> stupidly is right. That's, stupidly. It's very important. It's going to be too much real. work to lose out on the angles. It is. I, it, that's the thing. Is that but a lot of times if you, for me, it's like the looseness sometimes can make up for it. I mean, some of the drawing things are always going to be off in anything you do. So it's, it's not too bad to, you know, to be off and stuff. I mean, you can be close as long as we're in pretty close. I think we'll be okay. Let me check the lights, make sure I look, you know, I'm ready for my close up. Oh, geez. <laughs> Scary. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's why I paint over here and you guys never see me. Oh, because you know, I don't want to scare everybody. Uh, let's see, make sure if everybody here, Michael's here. Good, good. Lisa's here. As long as Lisa's here, we can go. Right. And stuff. So um, I invited a few other people. I invited uh, the girl who shot this great photo from uh, Mackinac Island here. She's in Mackinac Island. Our, her name's uh, Sarah Wright. And stuff that's a, with a W, uh, and uh, sh she goes by the name of uh, Green Drinks on Instagram. So if you find her, Green Drinks, she's really nice. Uh, she's a professional photographer, wedding photographer on uh, Mackinac Island. So she stays busy there on the weekends and stuff. Uh, probably all week knowing her, uh, at least during the summer, she's just cranking and stuff. And then uh, during the winter. She still lives there during the winter and stuff too. So she just, you know, she still looks like a resort out, out there when she's uh, shooting on the, during the winter and stuff. But, um, you know, as you guys know, I, I've been, uh, I got a gallery now in, in Mackinac Island. So uh, I want, they need uh, some visuals and stuff. And so you guys are my guinea pigs and stuff. I'm going to make you guys paint this thing with me. <laughs> if it doesn't going. turn out, I can blame you for it not working out, not me. Okay. And then well, I can, if, if, I'll if repaint says, something else. If yours doesn't turn out, you could pick up you could pick up Lisa's oh, <laughs> or somebody. Oh, I, for DJs you won't want to be doing these, that. Uh, all these other people, everybody else would probably uh, have nicer paintings than mine again. 
Ah. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. You guys are just, you know, too much pressure. Ah. Uh-huh. Anyway, only because we're following you. <laughs> it's easy to follow. Hard to. Oh, I, yeah. I, oh, that's because you can't miss me, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, let me pull it up oh, here a second. Oh my God. Let me. So, what? what uh, oh, I show. Oh, I sh see. I got my fingers are so big from the from being on this, you know, COVID diet. Oh, I haven't gone to the wrong. I went to the wrong one. Why? Oh, no, no, I did. I got it. No, this is one drive. I don't have a one drive. Wait a second. I got to come back. I don't have one drive. I, I was reaching for Google Drive. Except my finger. Oh, this is does not bode well for today's class. Uh oh, uh -oh I know. Hey, there's Karen. She made it. Karen's here, even. I, yeah, I Karen made it. it. Yeah, Karen made it. Yeah, she, back. She dug herself out. And so did uh, <laughs> DJ there. DJ had a, had a nice uh, go around with some snow DJ's, there. DJ's digging herself out now. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's impossible. We just had a front loader come in and scoop us out about half hour ago. Yeah. Oh, oh right. half hour. So you find, wow, you've been since what? Sunday or all weekend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I've sent Sunday. Wow, your painting should be nice. <laughs> um, well, I've been working on my windmill one. Yeah, have you? That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people in that one. So we got some good, some really good ones out of that one class. I'm hopefully uh like to see some more people who owe me paintings. Lisa. I'll finish mine all at oh, once. I have like five, I have five unfinished. I'll finish them all and put them all up together. Yeah fine then i have to grade them hurry up i'm gonna <laughs> flunk every one of you guys uh okay well this is the shot this is the round uh island uh, yeah round round island uh lighthouse there at rock and mackinac and stuff uh round island because this is just a little uh, uh rock uh inlet out there from from the shore there this this area here goes goes all the way to the shore here a lot of people walk out here and you can tour this lighthouse and go on in it and stuff it's old and rickety and stuff I, I think you can still go in it um i know they're doing some renovations they were just paying for some renovations to be done and stuff so um we will see okay let's go into this one less beautiful this is the design i like the design i love the way these rocks kind of come in here they stop here and you and they kind of bring you back a little bit i mean you always are going to be stuck with you know this lighthouse is always going to grab you and pull you back in, even though you, this goes off and stuff. It's not like anything huge over here that uh, to keep you back. And you've got this big old uh, cloud here that kind of pulls you back too and stuff. So even though we don't have like a visual stop area here, we do have a, some 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 chains and stuff that kind of kind of kind of visually stop you right there. You know, so this area here does not, and there's no color also. I mean, if it was this color over here and stuff, that would probably draw your eye more. But since it's kind of a gray tones and stuff, this whole area here, it's nice and stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if she did anything uh, uh, Photoshop wise on this at all, but, uh, you know, that would have been a good idea if it was uh, too bright to take this and pull it down. Uh, the clouds simple and nice back in here the way it draws you back in and stuff uh, is good um, you guys were talking about perspective on this thing mm -hmm. you know that how this how this thing goes and stuff these guys should you know all feed back to this this line here right yep and then these guys feed back to this line right so we got here and probably over here, over there somewhere are your uh, two vanishing points on the, on this. You know, visually and stuff, you can, as you draw these things, it goes up a little bit. It's a, it has a little bit of push up side. Usually when you go look at uh, three point perspective from this low and stuff, it's usually oh. wider at wider at the bottom a little bit 
and narrower at top on the top and stuff for the perspective. This could be a camera thing, you know, uh, just the lens itself doing that. Uh, we can make some corrections. I probably, a lot of these kind of corrections I do on this kind of house and stuff. I probably don't even know I'm doing it because I, I just do it normally and stuff, trying to make it uh, work and stuff. Uh, design wise, very good. I mean, everything's good. Uh, you know, I might, it, it was, it's just slightly off center and stuff. So uh, if you want, I like these rocks here and stuff, but you can, you know, get away, you could get away with cutting off a little bit more if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, even cutting off some, some, some bottom here that, you know, push this guy, push this guy down into this uh, quadrant of the painting and stuff, just where it starts there a little bit. That might be better. But uh, I don't know, you know, for a painting wise, it would be nice to have, have probably have it cut off just a little bit more there and there. Uh, but I would look at, you know, you know, how these, how these rocks right here end and stuff, you know, and see what you need there. You can always grab some information from, from this rock and this rock and add it to it if, you, if you're going to crop too tight and stuff. But you can always shrink those rocks and make sure you get, you know, if there's something in here that color wise or anything, you need to got to have in here like this little rock here is tipping it coming out and stuff if you know just bring it in you know just shove it in a little bit in, in here you know and it will work um other stuff in here the little clouds and stuff i don't know it could be a little, lot of fun to paint and stuff but i'm already hearing people not like it i can't believe it i like it it's just perspective and it's like oh, oh. It's a I think angles, have, you know, all the yeah. angles in this thing. A question I have, James, is when you're looking at this house, mm -hmm. how do you find your vanishing point? What, like, if you took a ruler, I don't care, whatever, you have to yeah, you would, lines. How do you find the vanishing, correct vanishing point? You're going to find it right here. You're going to find it pretty much on the horizon. On the right? horizon. On the horizon. So, so how do you how do you make a line from like the roof you yeah you gotta you gotta set it up where you got i usually try to find one right here okay a straight line and then find this one right here right here up in the attic and stuff find that one and and and, and, and see where it lines up and where these two two lines cross is going to be your vanishing point and that's where you everything else is going to come from you know everything else has to come from that point and if you do that visually and stuff you'll be fine yeah this this thing goes just slightly off here a little bit you know because you, you follow these two lines they, they're going to line up off off the, the pad here a little bit but um okay you know, so you're I, you're taking a point on the house like i i get the sections yeah and and you're you're letting that line, the the horizon, be like your second dot. Like your first dot's on the house, right? You know, and then the second dot's on the horizon line. So that's enough to give you a line, and then you can just continue it. Pretty much, that dot tells me down. every where all the windows line up. Okay. Where everything, you know, they, they should all, you know, line up right to that thing. And if you do that. Even if this house is old or sometimes, you know, built goofy and stuff, visually you can make it work and stuff. You might have trouble with this thing and stuff. Mm -hmm. That might, uh, that's, a that could be, a, you know, a building. <laughs> it's, it's a building, but it's, it's a different building. Mm -hmm. So it could be on a slightly different, uh, you know, um, vanishing point. But, you know, I think if you even use the same one, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're going to come very, very close to being, being all, all in the same spot. So okay. using the same spot, even for older places like this would work out fine. The rocks, you're on your own. Those things are just, you know, <laughs> asymmetrical, crazy things, you know, dot, 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 uh, you know, you know, 
rocks and stuff would be fun to do. I, if I'm going to, when I do this and stuff, I'll probably, you know, you're going to have to bring out only a couple of these rocks here, really to, you know, groupings and stuff to really nail the rest of them. Uh, you know, you can get away with just uh, indications and smudges and stuff like that, but you just got to hit a few of these rocks. And then over here, the highlights, basically I, I do paint the midtones and I'll just paint the highlights on those guys because they're far enough back that uh, they don't deserve us. Well, they, they'll get a, a third tone here and there, but it's not going to be like um, detailed as, uh, as I would do on this one and stuff so that's why i would think about it um the clouds again aren't uh you know clouds are like two three four colors maybe water's a lot of colors let me tell you the truth you start to look at it and you can see the blues into the blue greens into the golds into some, some sky showing through but that's it i mean it's really you think this color here, the sky, is reflected all over this this water and stuff. So it's definitely going to be in there. And if that color there is going to be mixing with these rocks here, so that's how you're going to end up probably getting this these colors here. That's where I'm thinking. Also, I, I made a little swatch here. I, you probably can't tell too much. <clears throat> and, and turned it black and white just to show uh, you guys oh, how yeah. really how really dark that sky is and stuff you can see it just doesn't um you know even at at a let's say one two three four five yeah it's almost closer to a six that's like a mid straight mid-tone color right all these colors there's even even these golds and stuff in here these guys are going to be up in, in in here too the lightest lights of course are really bright ones up here but we're not we can't make them white we're gonna have to bring them down to at least a two to get them going value wise um and even on the house is two i would never uh, i'd never try to go straight white i'd like to leave myself some room to go there i might i might be a, a a one or or two or a three here on that on this house and go to even darker a little bit darker on the sides and then I'll be able, at least gives me some room, you know, if I paint it this color, this value, uh, I can always step it up. And that will help me get a lot of like the, the in-between colors and stuff. Uh, it, it's just how I'm going to think about it. And that's the exact same kind of thinking that has to go into the cloud for being so light, too, is because it ha you got this nice shadow, but you got a bright, bright white against it and stuff and we got to watch out that this cloud you know doesn't you know come too too much forward in our face you know like that that it overpasses the building so we're going to make sure that building you know still has some guts to it and stuff i think we'll be all right i think the contrast in here will probably be enough to pull pull us forward <clears throat> and i like to leave myself the option of least you know, toning down that that cloud back there a little bit and pushing it, you know, for it doesn't overtake the whole painting. So another thing I might end up doing is too is up here in the sky, I probably just give that a half tone darker. Well, it is, it really is. I mean, I think it is darker there. Then there's a me medium tone. And then if you look at the horizon, how light that is and stuff, you can really see it over on this side, how light that horizon is and stuff. And how aqua he is, it is, right? So we'll have some trouble making a, the right green, for, blue green for that, but uh, we'll do all right, I think. So that sky almost looks like a, like a different, uh, a tone of phalo blue. Mm -hmm. it, it really probably could be, you know, if you, you could do that. I know we were talking about maybe even using a, um, there's a Prussian blue on it, which has a little bit of green in it too. Yeah. I uh, I think I'm, how I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use blue and I'm gonna use phalo green together. In yeah. White, and that'll do it. That's, that's where I'm going with it. So. Hey Jim, you are you uh, 
I, this is a very strange question, but in the in the water lily that we did a few weeks ago, you were trying to pick up some of the some of what's underneath the water. Is that getting too detailed in an image like this? Just forget that. So you see, you see next to the big rocks, you can almost you can almost yeah. see the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. The good thing, cool. yeah, you can see some good stuff, and that's that's interesting. That's uh, you know. You know, you that is that much? is a lot. That's some good work to do. There are some rocks like, you know, you see here that that will right. read easily in a painting. I always kind of stray away from uh, anything like like in these areas here that are uh, too detailed and stuff. Yeah. I mean, to, to dive into um, I could like because you got my right. The rule of thumb is just squint at it, you know, and, mm -hmm. and let let the things come forward in your eyes it should be and because if let them blend together too because if things blend together a little bit more <clears throat> it's good you know i'll try to probably think about you know putting like a little couple strokes over things you know bringing these strokes in over this stuff uh and i think that will do it do the job but uh right, that's probably going to be the, probably the the trickiest place I think of the whole painting because this up here is pretty simple. That's simple. This is simple. This is just a mess. The rocks and everything else down in here is probably the toughest thing to do. But I, we have one lucky kind of thing to play with in here. We got this area here with the highlights and stuff. Those, and you can see the highlights on top of the water and stuff. You can use those things they're going to be like your key to making this water lay flat and uh, really working out. Um, you can also stretch those a little bit more into here. If you also, if you look, you can also see the reason thing, it's kind of where it stops. You know, there is such a small reflection in here because of this, this, this building and stuff. It's all comes straight down. You can just see where it stops and stuff. Um, but you can take a lot of this stuff and still get it in here and stuff to, uh, you know, that's going to be interesting enough. I'm trying to, I think that's what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to worry about quite all the details in here. I think this area here, there's some kind of simple, but nice effective uh, colors back in here that this area here might not be where you want to end up anyway. I kind of want to use these as like, like they are stepping stones to get back in here, right? So that's where that's what I'm thinking. That's a good idea. That's a that's a brilliant idea. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> There's so, a lot of beautiful depth in this image with the clouds too, as the clouds fade toward the horizon line. That's adding real depth to this too. That is a very good point, Mike. Uh, you know, really, it's it's a lot of has to do with contrast to get those guys to work and stuff, making sure that these grays and stuff here and blue whites and stuff are not the same ones we use here. They are an offshoot of these colors, but they can't be the same ones because they're, they will uh, flatten out. They have to be since they're going back in space. They have to be a little darker. This one feels darker than this. The lights, the whites in it. And then the shadows, the shadows are lighter than this one. It, a lot of that will, will just wash out anyway when we, we get going on it, I think. So any other questions? So are we okay where the horizon line is right in the middle? You know, you know, that's why I was, I think we were talking earlier and stuff. If you Put it did up in the do corner. a little bit of that, you know, okay. Depends okay. On, your, on your cropping and stuff. You I could see. get away with just taking little bits, nibbling off on the outsides and stuff. Okay. And uh, and if nothing else, it, you can, as you can see, this kind of stuff here on, on the sides and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, to blow out a painting and stuff to that that side is really nothing more than a continuation of your, your stroke itself. So it's not going to be like uh, anything hard to, to do. Okay. Okay. No, that's a really, mm -hmm. you know, I think uh, that would be a really good solution. It's just such a powerful, uh, strong image. I mean, this thing just like sits, boom, right there in the middle of, you know, in, the, in your, 
in the image itself just holds so much power. So let's see if we can uh, we can get you know get some shape on this thing today. All right. Uh, any other questions? Okay, moving over to the to the board. Anybody else here? We see we got Lynn. No, no one else showed up. Charlotte showed up, of course, and Carol showed up. Hi, Carol. Ava showed up. Hi, Ava. Hey, hey. Cindy's here, of course. Yeah, see, okay. All right. Good, good, good. Here, I'm going to replace the spotlight here. And oh, that's gorgeous. Big feet. Sorry. You guys still there? Yeah. Okay. Here. here. Uh, 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 oh no! I just big feet hit my hit my uh, tripod. And just knocked my iPad off the ground off here. So lucky I have a soft pad underneath it to land on. Let me plug these things back in. Sorry, everything got unplugged. I'll be right. Oh wait. No. No. Oh well. Let me see. That one's broke. No. Oh god, this one. Stop it. Stop it. You heard her. You heard the lady. Gosh dang it, I walk across the floor, he bites my feet. <laughs> Damn puppies. Hopefully we'll break that off inside. Anyway. All right, we're back over here. Hi guys. Yep. We are with the printout. Of course, it's a little darker than the, it really is. Color-wise, I'm gonna make sure I have some unbleached white out, would be great. My burn umber. Bert Sienna. My yellow ochre is still there. It that's still good. Got CAD. Okay. So let's go through the colors. I'm gonna put out some unbleached white here. Next to some white. That will, should help out with the clouds and things. Need some unbleached white. It's a regular white, not a titanium white, or uh, I have permeable white here. Or, you know, what kind of white you want to use. You can use lead white. Some other colors, but this is just permeable white. Uh, next to that, I got some cad yellow, cad red light, cad yellow light. Some cat orange up here left over. Uh, I think those guys are all good. Usually your cadmium stay moister a little bit longer. Uh, I do need some, here's some ochre. I just put that out last week. That should be good. I think, yeah, that's that's still good. I'm good on all those. Uh, this is a uh, lizard crimson or uh, what do you call it? Red. Uh, Mad, uh, Rose Matter. Rose Matter is uh, uh, Rembrandt's uh, knockoff of uh, Lizard Crimson. So is that the same gem then? It's the same color? It is much? really, really close. You know, I mean, it's just like going from one man manufacturer to another. And okay. it's, 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 it's light safe at least. You know, I, I didn't, it's really not probably that big a deal about the uh, lizard crimson not being like super light safe. It's, it seems like it's more in the lighter pinks and stuff. I don't really go for pinks a lot in my work. So I'm, they're not a big, uh, you know, repper, part of my repertoire, I guess. Uh, here I have some, uh, this is uh, red oxide, uh, transparent red oxide. But also, I use this would be Venetian or it could be uh, uh, Terra Rosa, whatever. You know, it's a, it's a kind of a round, brown, red, red brown. 
Here I have a cobalt blue hue I use from uh, Utrecht. That's the blue I use. Uh, burnt sienna here, burnt umber. Like I said, burnt sienna, I think, yeah, burnt sienna is good. Doesn't have a skin on it yet. Burnt umber usually dries out a little bit faster. So we'll put out a little bit of that. We're probably going to use some of that too, because that you can see it in the water and stuff. Some of the some of the richness and stuff would be nice to have a, a a burnt umber in there. Turn it starting. Uh, next to that, I'm going to put some phthalo green out. Or if you want to put Viridian green out, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a test on that maybe on Saturday. Show you guys the difference between Viridian green and phthalo greens and stuff. And your own, making up your own green. I have a good one for that class. Okay. And then uh, next to that, I'm just going to put out some uh, royal blue. Royal blue. Royal blue. blue. Royal blue or king's blue? King's blue. Sorry, you got you got me again. See, it says right here. It says, you can, can you read that? It says I can. Royal blue royal. And up here it says king's blue. See. But you know what, Jim? Your your king's blue is more uh, leans a little bit more turquoisey than the brand I am, which is where's my yeah, it might, it might. They do change a lot. They do. I mean, and also, like I said, always, you can make it with just my uh, cobalt blue hue and, and white will work out great, too. Let me see here. Let me miss. Uh, sorry, she's going to miss. Okay. How are we doing here? Oh, sorry. Let me get that set up. Okay. So, here we go. Let me get my monitor turned on. I'm shaking. Just start making some colors, beautiful colors. What color do you guys want to start with first? I would <laughs> say, for me, I'd always look at uh, the darkest darks and stuff. You can find them probably in the water here, you can around the rocks and stuff, and in the, the windows, of course. Uh, I think they are warm. And uh, I would start off there looking at warm. A warm darks first, but also having do some other darks. There's going to be a lot of red in it already. Some burnt reds and stuff. It's going to be really nice in here. So let's start off with some burnt reds. Let's start off with that Venetian or oxide red and blue, regular blue. They'll make up our one of our really dark darks, right? Right. There we go. There we go. I missed you. Okay, uh, I'm going to also make this on the blue side. So I'm going to take that color and, and do it a little bit bluer. So I can have a blue version of it, which would be a cool version and a warm version. That's really great for turning things. So these colors also with just a little bit of white in them will come in to be some really nice uh, blue blue gray uh, rock parts of the rocks too, but you know, so, so don't worry about, we're probably gonna be stealing from those piles, but there's really this, this thing is uh, not very many real darks in it anyway. You got the roof there right here and it has a lot of red in it, but let's go with a different red. I don't wanna be too much of the same, right? So, I'm, but I'm gonna go with another warm red. I'm gonna go with uh, blue and cad red. Oh, I think I overdid the, how much I grabbed of the CAD red. Yeah. Venetian and CAD, is that what you said? Venetian and CAD? Yeah, the, no, this is this one here is just CAD red and blue. CAD red and blue. CAD red and blue. And I'm looking at for it for uh, the roof here. And uh, I think if I add just a little bit more blue into, into the, a piece of this, I'll make up for it. This color here will go great in the water and stuff. So, so it's not a waste of color yet. So just hold on to that one. But this will be going for into the roof a little bit. At least the, the beginning of the roof, you'll probably have to have another, like I said, just like I did up here, a little cold, cool version of it, just because of the shadows in this one corner here. 
and stuff. And I like to just keep the reds mixed up. Okay. All right, the big uh, red in the room here. How are we gonna get that red on the, these two reds, the, the shadow red and the house red? Well, let's see, what would you guys do? Knowing that we got these colors here and we put them up here and they are very warm and this is, feels very cool compared to it. Maybe this, maybe this would look better up against it. This is, this would be even closer. So it is a cool dark red. James, are you mixing that with cad red light? Yes. Okay. These are cad red light and blues. Thank you. I don't have cad red blue out. But. Your dark looks more purple though than mine. <laughs> there you go. So let's try. I'm going to go do this because I think it's going to work. I'm going to throw up some alizarin for the side here. Or alizarin or rose matter here. Just a little bit, not quite as dark probably, but, but I'm going to go with that and I'm going to put some cad into it. So it's more like this. If I was working a regular color, it would probably be like a cad medium. This would be, end up being, you know. So that color there are mixed with blue. Should get me to about the right color. It has a little bit of warmth, but it still has coolness to it and stuff. So it might get me really, really close to what I need. Might have to mix some more color up because I don't think I made, made up another. See, I was being a little tentative thinking that I don't want to put too much paint out. But this is going to work out great because I think this is going to also turn, you can almost feel this this other lighter red into it too. So this is just got a little bit more blue because I made too much smaller pile. I'm going to save a little bit of this for the, too much so I have an extra color there. So there we go. Now let's get, well, let's get the front reds and stuff like that. Just the beginnings, we're just gonna get the steps. Let's go with, again, cad red. I'm not, instead of going with uh, glycerin, I'm gonna go with uh, just a little bit of more red, brown red for now. Let's try that. So I'm gonna put some, uh, Venetian red into it. Why did Venetian start, red? What did you huh? start with? Is that orange that you started with? No. No, I started with cad red. That's cad red light. And this is Venet I just added some Venetian into it. I thought it was gonna be uh be right. It's slightly warm. So I can put it up here and stuff as you can tell it's way too warm. Cool it off. I'm going to go with, I got to go back to the lizard well, crimson, just like that color there. That color there probably just toned down a little bit. Probably could have been this color. But it's okay. I just wanted to get there. Got to try some colors out. Be willing to make mistakes. You got to find some colors, you know. Sometimes you stumble across a good favorite color. There we go. That's a good, really good pretty doggone far away more red thought i had it but this is like going to be one of the colors that's going to be like there's no white in it the lightness comes from the cad light stuff so i'm bringing in the lizard and crimson on the side here and it has some of that other warmth in here yeah still a little bit there but that will work i'm gonna leave it leave it right there i think what else can I do with that? Cool it off. Hmm. Maybe if I start off just a smaller patch. I mean, that's how close these reds can get and stuff. You can be, that's really close. This one just cut with just a little bit of white. 
So it's just Venetian, not rope, or just Lizarin and Cad Red. Just a hair of white to, gray, to cool it off again, but just take it off that step. Just one more step. There we go. Might have cooled it off too much. Just white cools things off so much. Yeah, it just cooled it off just too much. So this is the big the big problem. After that, it's easy. As you can see, this color now is going to be yeah close enough go close enough for government work. So I'll be able to use these colors together. So I didn't like totally throw it off. This is going to be nice and rich at the bottom of the, of this thing, and I can use this as more of the highlight color and some stuff. I mean, there are some bricks back in here up in here, I would just be adding not much color to. I think I'd probably just steal colors from over here. My other paint parts and stuff, just bring them over and stuff and make my, my bricks and stuff from. So this color here is just, uh, again, uh, cad red and alizarin, a little bit of white. Uh, the white just cooled it off just too much, so I went back in and put in some cad orange into it. Now I just took a piece of this and brought it over here and added some of this uh, cad red and blue mix I had up here, the same thing here, and added that to it. And I'm thinking about that being up here for the... Uh, you know, for the fire... Ugh, ugh chimney here so I'll be using these darts over here and stuff probably for the top of the lighthouse too and stuff I don't need to really make up on bunch more I think uh, they were good so let's get into uh, making the uh, make sure I got a one really blue one over here so I just put a bunch more blue into that a piece of this why? Because I can see the top of this thing up here probably having a little bit more blue in it. Um, you're going to find these these windows and stuff are all going to be in the warms and stuff on this side with the whatever the reds are and stuff. They're going to be nice in that. Maybe even in this that looks good too. Um, so let's get the sky made. And again, make sure I got a clean knife. I'm going to start off with some good sized part of the painting so let's put out a pretty good glob of white blue here right and we're going to steal a lot of white probably half the same amount of white and as you can tell we sit over here on this little stripe here you can see that uh, the sky is probably right into here so that's the value we're going to be shooting for with this first shot put blue and white and then I'll be using bringing in the phalo green into this color. As you can see, mm. I am how cool I am with this color. The reason I'm mixing it up instead of using like a cerulean to make this color and stuff is because this this is uh, this will give me more iridescence to mix it up in, in the long run. I didn't need that much since I got a red add in. So I'm gonna put some phalo green into it. Into the whole pile. Into the whole pot. Into the whole pile. Throw it in the pot. Just throw it in the pot. So, and as you can tell, it's getting really close to the right color. So, so I'm not crazy. I'm not. You know, they just make me think I'm crazy. Okay. All right. Um, so eh, it's it could be a little bit lighter. It's going to have to go a little bit lighter. It's going to have to go way lighter for this bottom part and thing. So I'm just going to take whatever's on my knife, you know, and start a new pile because it's going to be mostly white. 
so I'm taking a big gobble. <laughs> I I really overmade my paint here on this on the sky here. All right, as you can tell, this is getting very cool and stuff, and you won't find too much of it in here. It's going to be looks like it's going to be a lot more phthalo green at the bottom here. But this cool, you'll find out. Probably you're going to be able to use it in the in the clouds and stuff. So, but I'm just going to put some phthalo green in here. Phthalo green and blue, a lot of white, and dog hairs. <laughs> Got a dog hair? You're lucky. I paint. People pay more for dog hair painting. I found. Oh, out. I agree. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Anybody has a dog. <laughs> Because, yeah, that's true. They're especially good in your cookies. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, you got to floss with them. <laughs> oh. 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 So this is getting really green. Yeah, wow, this is right. As you can tell, this, you can't tell here, but it's, on my monitor, this is really pretty close to what I got to be down to. And stuff, so it might be just a little bright. So I'm gonna add, so it's just a phthalo green, just a hair of blue in it, a lot of white. That's gonna be your 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 colors around this, this thing a lot. I'm gonna take, this is, I need to do a trans, so this would be this blue here light blue here will probably be at the very, very bottom, maybe on the edge and stuff, because it's just a cool, a little bit cooler. And it'll look, uh, it's going to look a little purpley against this green and stuff. And so instead of making a purple to put down here, I can put this cool blue down there and it's going to do the same thing, probably, but better. Uh, this color here, I'm going to have to get a transition color between here and here. This is just too steep. This is probably way too dark. It looks okay here, but on my monitor it says it's, you know, a little dark. So I'm going to add some more phthalo green because that's really all this is, is blue, blue, blue green like this. It's a little tur real turquoisey. And you can start to see how these things are starting to pop here. It's a little different color scheme than I've ever, I usually work with. So it's kind of fun. You, uh, work with some different colors like this. Going to need some more white. Thing with when you keep adding white, you just want to make sure you don't add, over add it because it just kind of just chalks out, kills the color and stuff because of the spectrum and stuff. It just pulls it, pulls it into the white area spectrum instead of leaving it out there in the color. So you really got to, you know, watch how much you, you end up using. This might be my darkest dark in fact. What? That'll end up being my darkest dark. That blue one I'll probably just use little places. So I'm gonna make a, just an in-between one here. And then we'll then we have our colors at least. Whoa, got some red in it. That's not gonna work. I get that red in. I'll put her over here. This will end up being a rock. Ah. Just gonna use that too close to the red. My piles have spread them out too far. All right. This, there we go. This would be like a nice in between that, that, and that. Just a gradation. And then I'll find some nice purples and stuff like that to put in there too. But uh, you know, we, let's get the basics down. Okay, from that we go to the clouds. The clouds have a lot of uh, reflective blue sky in them, stuff. So uh, this big pile back in here probably can come in handy with just a just a little bit of uh, burnt. I'm gonna put a little just a little burnt sienna in it. I found that would work out really nice Monday night, making a nice gray. James, blue and gray start, and you know. When you started that pile, did you take from your blue one above? Yeah, I because I made my pile too big. All right. Because I had a you lot of some, I had a lot of them a number ten, number ten mix. 
Yeah. Plus, <laughs> plus BS. Came from number 10. And, and he added you, B. What did you yeah. add to it, James? I missed it. Okay. This is just uh, BS. This, blue, gray, this is blue and uh, phthalo green and white. Mm -hmm. I took a piece of that because it's on the blue side a little too much. And here I just added some burnt sienna. Oh, okay. It's red, kind of a, it has yellow oh, in it. Yes. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> hey. It's basic. It's almost like blue and burnt sienna. Yeah, you could almost do the same. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I, okay, it could be. Okay, let's wait a second. Let's do a science experiment since you guys are all chiming in. Blue and burnt sienna. Look yeah. at it. It's good. Green. That's going to be really nice in the rocks, isn't it? Yep. So, yeah, yeah, I know. I put some white into that piece too. And you can do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it that way. You guys see. Then you add white to it. And you, you just, this will get, no, I'll just steal back some of that. I can make that up in two seconds. But blue and burnt sienna will work fine. See, it makes a nice little gray, blue off gray and stuff. And so base, and then this one, just take a little piece of that if you want to do just blue and burnt sienna. Just take a little piece of that, put it over, you know, off to the side. Just grab a little bit of the sky color and add it in there. That'll do it too. That'll be, you need to get that sky in the cloud too. So add it in there. And you'll get this color over here I already made. But since you guys aren't listening to me and taking over my class, hey, whatever. I'm listening. I'm taking notes. No, no, I'm going to keep going with that same movement these guys have taught me. We are just going to go with some blue and, and burnt sienna. And I'm going to do a few little things here. You know, these are going to be really nice in, uh, in these rocks. And stuff. I think I can, this is going to be a nice uh, starting point for the rocks just going to have to be you know a lot of burnt sienna first besides the green and the blue have one kind of a dark dark and stuff you can almost put it over here with these other darks and stuff but it has a lot more yellow in it and stuff so it's interesting so this one has a lot more burnt sienna in it and we hit this with a couple colors and stuff i know if i hit it with uh cad yellow this thing will jump so if I put a, some new cad yellow into this color, it'll start getting me right to the, about the right colors. There'll be, have to be some reds and stuff done to it. But this is gonna get me into this color right here. So yeah, it's gonna need a little more red. Maybe even some cad orange would probably do the, do the trick. So save some of that. Just make sure you got some cad orange handy. You know, if I can orange. Cat orange with just a scraping of sky and thrown in there over here. It's probably scraping the sky to take the kick off it a little bit to gray it down just a hair. I'm talking hairs. I'm not talking like, you know, knocking it out. Like if I took too much color and stuff, it would just gray it out and stuff. And you're going to find out that's probably going to be perfect for those things. You guys weren't supposed to be there yet. You guys were supposed to be following without thinking ahead. So basically, it's just burnt sienna blue, uh, cad yellow, then some cad orange to get this color. Took it over here and put a gob. If I had some blue, blue gray, uh, green sky left over, put that in here, and you're going to get, boom, almost all your colors. And then you just take pieces of that, and you start overdoing it. You know, you just go back and maybe put a little bit of red into a piece of it, and stuff like that. This is going to start getting me into all these other sections and stuff so basically i'm using the sky after i paint the sky i'll be able to steal a lot of that stuff mix it with just a piece of this stuff here and be able to it's going to create everything i can be as lazy as i want it's going to fit in there perfectly right 
Right. So you guys quit laughing at me, thinking I'm dumb and stuff. I know exactly where I'm going. So, um, so this color here is basically burnt sienna and blue, and then just probably a little phthalo looks like in it. Will work out great for a lot of stuff. Also, these same colors have to have some more red in them, like this. So I'd go back almost to this pile. I'm not losing you guys, am I? Yeah. Half an hour. Yeah, stay out. Gotta start with that. These you lost me at the piles because by the time I find the paint to stick in it, you're on the next one. Well, hurry up. I'm trying, but we gotta look down to mix. See? 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 Who's ya? Me too. Don't so, worry, I'll let you catch up. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. So on a bird sienna, would you just repeat what you put in the mother color? You split it up. Okay, right here I, I put in burnt sienna blue, added some white to it. Uh, then I added I added some cad yellow to it. Uh, and then just a, then over here I added some cad orange to it. Took a pop piece of that pile, added some cat orange to it uh, because I'm trying to look at for these rocks, a couple of these warmer uh, red rocks right in here and stuff. I really think that they are going to be this color. And I'm going to leave it a little more intense than it needs to be. So that pile had both red, cad red and cad yellow added to it? Uh, yeah. Okay, this great. one has this. Then this one over here has cat orange in it. Okay. This one over here, I think, just has some more. Was the original pile I was making with a little bit of sky with some burnt skin in it. Then you guys got cocky, and I had to make this one. And then I got to tone it down, and then add some orange. Then over here, I added sky to it. And as you can see, if you can just take these or any of these colors here now, and you what if you got a little bit of sky, basically you can always make that sky up again. You and add, we were getting cocky. We were using BS for bullshit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's um, what I, you're I, thinking I, colors, and we're being funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you made a new color. <laughs> you guys, you guys be funny on your time. <laughs> See, I, I got, I got a million of them. Anyway, most of this, these colors right here are going to make up uh, all these things. There's going to be some of these reds in here. As you can see, we'll probably just, I'll probably bring those guys in too a little bit, just to get a uh, some reflective. Uh, Reds and stuff into into these uh, <sighs> these waters and stuff. Who's that now? Oh, I've got a headache and a backache, but I'm 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 here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is two or three in a row for you. This is amazing. Hey, Congrats. I love I love to sit here and watch <laughs> and take notes. See, thank you. You're welcome. At least you, I mean, you could talk at least. I mean, the rest of these guys, just nothing. Hey, Jim, how are you getting that? Oh, how you see that? that come out. How are you getting that yeah. aqua color? The aqua color? Yeah. Way back the, here? No, no, no. Yeah. Bottom for the water. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, like you said, it comes from way back here, though. So it's just phthalo green yeah. and white. You know, basically you got to make this up a little bit. It's almost separate. And you can bring that over here. And just, I was just using these pieces of color color for that came from this one oh. and adding them in. Mm. Uh, and, and they get, uh, that's how they come. They, they, this is way too much. Just I usually have blue in it too. I just kind of left it bright. Just because I want to be goofy. Um, so uh, to make to make these, 
right here. Uh, you got to cut, I start off with burnt sienna and blue, mixed with white, uh, mixed with a little cad red, cad red and yellow here, uh, mixed with some more, then I mixed it with that color, I mixed with a light sky color. Basically, I took this color and mixed it with this and came up with that. It's just, this one has a little more, well, I'm not for sure that this blue was just gonna eat it alive. So I took it really easy on it. But these colors here will turn out to be right about in here. You're gonna find them in here. And it's just gonna be a little bit more mixing of which, how much orange you put in here or how much uh, like sky blue you put in here and stuff basically how far you want to go. So I'd be just taking these things and just just playing a little bit and seeing how how they come off and stuff. You might any of these things will, will be guaranteed almost like a guarantee to work uh, in this painting. Okay. Just because they all coming they're just coming from each other now. Now that I don't really have to use these guys too much. I'm gonna use white pretty sparingly and stuff and it will come out right. You know, I did I get the blue? I never got the blue, the blue for the house. Or did I? I'll use that. Or that. You know, I'll be using probably one of these. It's gonna be it's white. It's reflecting nothing but uh, nothing but sky. And that's what these colors are. These colors are probably right in here for this whole this the shadow part. The white part, oh I didn't make I did not make that white part. No one called me on it either. Guys. No, but James, that pile on the right, did you add a right middle dark pile? Did you just add straight white to it up? Up one, up to the red, over to the right. Or left, you're, I'm sorry, it's for you, it's left. Yes, what's that? That one? Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, came from here with uh, oh, a little blue. Okay. With a little bit of blue. Okay. Came from the... That's why mine looks so pink. Yeah. I started color. using left. I don't know how I got that, that little dab of sky blue over there and stuff, but it, it was like brilliant. Because uh, it was really that was just by adding that that little pile into all these these just these colors I doubled my amount of colors and got all my light colors my dark colors and pretty much everything I need to to do this section here and knowing that it's going to fit really well mm. should fit really well mm -hmm. like I said the, the roof that uh, the I am just going to put in just a touch of ochre in this thing of my whites. I think I already have, I have some burnt sienna here. Wait a second. I'm just going to leave, just stay with burnt sienna. I have it left over for my rocks on Monday here in my paint and it's still kind of tinted <laughs> this thing. Most tinted it almost the right color. So it's probably going to be just burnt sienna. It's just scraping a burnt sienna in white. for this house, probably just maybe even some, just a scrape and burn umber, maybe. But I was thinking about toning the canvas with that anyway. There we go. So the whites, then, you know, it'd be nice to have a, put a white blue in there too. And, you know, maybe a yellow, you know, a pink or something too in here and stuff that really brings out all the colors. So you try to get a color range even in your high key things, you know, you might want to get a nice color range. And a lot of them you're going to find you can do. <laughs> you're right, you're right here is by using whatever you got left over here. You pretty much do it right by your whites. You can get all your colors. So I got a pink here. I got a blue. I got a, got a little warm orange type thing. I got some basically white. So I'll be, you know, having fun with these. I'll also be using those up here in the clouds and stuff too. So just be using, basically cutting, just scrapes, scrapes of these colors with a lot of white. Now I'm gonna get to all the colors for the clouds too. These are the cloud grays. 
I think I'm there. You guys good? Let's go. You can lie to me, you guys. You guys aren't even close to this. You want five minutes work. <laughs> Come on, what do you need? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, my colors, as usual, don't look like that gray in the middle uh, at the end. What's that? Here, to the to your left and towards the middle, right, right, no, down on the end. Keep going to the right, your right. Going to go to your right. You went over it. Nope, it's right in the middle here. But near the green, next to the left of the green. That, what is that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you do. You're just hiding. And I got to rethink it. I'm thinking this is a. Uh... No, that's just going to be, I know it has a lot of phthalo green. It's probably this blue here and brown. Because we were talking about adding brown to it and stuff. And I think it's just I didn't use, bring in that much. It just still has a lot of blue in it and stuff. And I think, yeah, that's what it is. No, I, that's I don't know, brown. That should be burnt sienna. There you go. So that's getting it. Yeah, that's it. So it's burnt sienna mixed in with this. The blue and the blue sky, and uh, so that's blue and white and uh, phthalo green uh, mix with some burnt just here, just a little bit of burnt sienna coming in, and probably just has a little more white to it too. Oops, I want to waste put that pile, and this should get it pretty close to that color. I say that, and it's not turning for. Me. Clever. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's on the tape. It's on the tape. <laughs> oh, now that should be pretty close. It should gray down to that color pretty easy. I don't think I put it. I no, I did. I didn't. I told everybody to get up, put unbleached white out, and I pretty basically didn't touch it. So I know I didn't use it. That's just, there's probably, these guys might even end up being too dark for what I want in here. So I might have to light them up, but I think I'll be able to do that with uh, the creams and stuff. I don't, I might just have to add white to all these, each one of these guys at the end, because these guys might be just a couple shades too dark for where I want it to be. Yeah, because I'm all the way down in here. And, uh, yeah, those guys are going to be more in here. So anyway, we'll catch that. We'll catch it when we get to it. Let's get busy. Okay. Oh, come on, we got painting to do. It's Thursday night painting. It's fun. We haven't <laughs> fun yet. Uh, no, it's just good to paint. I always paint on Thursday nights anyway, one way or another. So let me come back over and start things up. See if I might have to adjust this easel. What's the name of that color chart you have right there on your easel or your palette? The red one? The little dot no, one? the color chart, the what? The color chart, you yeah, who, who sat by? Oh, medium materials. Just a, just a color chart. Hmm, I like that. It helps. It helps. You know, to, the good, uh, and good aid to help you. You know, point to you guys and say go. All right, coming back. Coming back live. Let's see, anybody else show up here we miss? DJ Michael, no, Lynn's here, lawyer. Good size, you guys really came out tonight, thank you. I thought, thank I, was gonna be I, was, I thought I was gonna be lonely. <laughs> Me, lonely, I, I'll, I'll just sit there and talk to myself, you know? <laughs> I won't be lonely. 
Let me blow this up so I can see it. That would be good. Pretty soon we'll be up doing some plain air painting probably. Hopefully the weather keeps changing like it does. Okay. Like I said, let's get this drawn in. Um, I would probably go with a burnt sienna, I think, on this one because I want to keep it fiery. I want to keep the richness. I'm afraid if I go too gray with a brown gray, it might, uh, you know, knock out the, you know, the, you know, the color a little bit. So let's keep with that. Oil out. Big brush, big ideas, right? Yep. Use a burnt sienna or burnt. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm, I'm Ray regular. Yeah, burnt sienna. Okay. Do you use right? any oil when you do this part? You wouldn't. It doesn't look like it, but I do. I dip my brush, you know, at about a third of the way down and grab. Grab it, it makes just a little bit of a slick of a pile and stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna watch how much I put on because this brown will does affect everything else. Let's get this right. Hold on to it. As you can see, I really put it on too much. I'll be wiping this off pretty good. Might have to use some oil itself to wipe it off. I overdid. But it's good to get that, just get a little bit of color in here. Because we'll be dealing with so many whites and stuff. Let's just push. I'm going to push the horizon down just a hair more. All right. Now, one more time, wipe this off one more time. I think I got make sure this is a little bit even. Don't care about it down here. Okay. All right, there we go. Draw it in, knowing that I'm going to probably put this in about a, but I'm probably going to put it down right around a third, you know, maybe slightly above, slightly above it when you put end up putting in the rocks and stuff, but not much. Think about the stepping stones, how these things are going to end up being. I'm really going to only probably have to capture these, this little section here, and if really the the main one is this guy right here. You know, if I just get make sure you get the darkness and the shadows on that guy. The other ones are just more, you know, are going to be little, little marks. There's just this one, just is just a little triangle, basically, you know, with a highlight on it. You know, and then you get back in these other rocks, which are nothing but piles. Rock rubble almost, so we don't have to do too much there. Halfway done, halfway done, just like that. Come on, you guys, keep up with me. <laughs> um, I get a kick out of myself, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have to unmute ourselves for you to hear us. Well, laugh. believe it or not, I get it since I spend so much time by myself. Yeah. You got to be able to laugh at yourself, right? Exactly. Now, I'm going to just make sure I'm going to start these guys. I don't know, where is that about? Well, it wouldn't be a quarter, but it's almost a quarter. That's where I'm going to start putting this this side of the building and stuff. Starting it there and then working it out out to here, making sure I have 
at least, you know, you know, it doesn't doesn't fall quite in half, right in the middle. Like since like there's more on that side on this than on this side, uh, you know, and then side widthwise. Okay, so I have this line, sort of, going off into Never Never Land, and then I got this one. I needs to probably go from here, you know, follow it there. Uh, maybe just a little higher. Okay, and then there's another one about there. We should probably just need to go a little sharper at the end. So Turning sound off. Damn it. Damn it, dog. <laughs> so those guys are going to come here. I might think have to come down just a little bit more. Down here. So. I'll just find that spot. Find it here. Point point the back other part of my uh, brush at that point. Stand back and hopefully I can get it. You know, I can get it. No, yeah, that, that should work. Well, roof. Let me go a little bit. And anything. I think I, yeah, I'm gonna have to move that, move this over just here more. Okay. Yeah, this is like one of their favorite uh, things out there. This they take a lot of pride in this uh, lighthouse and stuff. So if it's not painted exactly right, they'll it won't make it. <laughs> they might not make it. That's probably true. It's like mountains; they know their own stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. I know this with this window here, if you put it down here and stuff, you can see it slightly, slightly off center, just a little past center of this set, this shape, the, the rectangle shape here for this thing. So slightly past, that's where it's going to be. And so I know if I have that and I can sort of start to feel where, knowing that this peak where it has to be and stuff tells me where I things start to line up. And so you guys, you guys got this right? You got I know you do. Of course they do. Yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. <coughs> a, lot, a lot of times I'll be stealing lines too, like <laughs> oh, from these things going down and stuff. I can just bring it over here and use it for the top of this. Um, this thing is so knowing that that's going to be good. It's going to be a good line. Okay. Just a little bit of architectural funk on this thing where it has a lot of broken gables and stuff. So, so you got to get those in perfect. See, I drew it perfect. You guys can't even tell. See how perfect that was? That's perfect. You wipe off the guidelines and no one knows, knows how you did it. <laughs> they just think you're great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the whole thing is being thinking you're great, right? <laughs> exactly. Hey. 
It's so. So the windows, windows, windows are just really little. Going to be this little spot like this. I don't have to paint paint them in. I'm just knowing where they got to go and stuff. I'm probably just going to paint right over them for now. Come back and probably put the even put this line. This line's going to be pretty heavy there. Tone it down because I know where it's go. I can sort of see it underneath and stuff. I can always redo it. Okay, cloud clouds up here. Gonna to try to keep it keep it inside my border a little bit here, and there we go down here. Little one, two, boop, boop. Just wipe them out. One long one here, a little teeny one, and into the ground. Hopefully, this will work. How are you guys doing? Everybody do it good? Everybody has this drawn out? You guys already had this drawn out, it sounds like. Yeah, so you guys are all muted. I'm not. I'm just thinking. Thinking, thinking. Ah, so you've been giving out the shots there, huh, Lisa? Yeah, yeah. Kind of tired? How many shots are you guys putting out a day? You know, it varies. They never know how much vaccine they're going to get from week to week. And sometimes we get it from Cook County. Sometimes we get it from DuPage County. Sometimes it's both. So yeah. it's, and yeah, so sometimes it's not much and other times it's a lot. Okay. So it's just variable. They just don't know week to week. Where are you, you doing get, it, Lisa? Where, where are you um, I'm volunteering over at Pillars and then on the weekends, with another um, organization that's like trying to take the vaccines to senior citizens that are not real mobile. Oh, yeah. Isn't she nice? How can which one is the dog giving? I don't which know how she could be so nice. Which vaccines are you giving? Um, I've just been given Moderna so far. That's what I took. That's yeah, what I, I did took too. too. Now, my sister's not mobile. She, but she's in Cook County, so that wouldn't work with you, right? Um, it just depends on, um, you know, probably not. Well, let me think. No, there have been some. I worked one in um, Elsup. That's Cook County, isn't it? Yeah, she's in Crestwood, which is the side of Oh, Elsa. she just missed off. Oh, too bad. <laughs> you know, she can... I, the, is she affiliated with a senior center of some type and kind of support group? Support no, but her daughters are, are looking for it. I keep getting after her because, you know, she thinks they're going to come to her. I'm like, no, you got it. No, uh -uh. we went to the us. village hall. We can't go like to houses. Although I was climbing in the back of cars to give people vaccines, but they had to come to the um, village hall. Okay. So we got close to them. I'm right. You guys good? Oh, oh wait. No, got to put the flag in. Come on. Yeah, this is what we're doing here. Don't you? You took your time. I let you have some time to gab. Now let's get busy. Okay. Think about also this, this, this the reflection and stuff. You might even think about take it out that in to make sure you think about how that it's that is going to be probably in there somewhere. So I'm going to make sure I got the white out a little bit cleaner. And same here, just a little bit. Won't show up probably as much on, on this guy. And another thing also, the things we do here, you know, if you do a lot of rotating in, in your transparency of this light oil. So if you can use that too, that'll come into play in like it did in the rocks on Monday and stuff so you don't have a whole lot you can leave you'll find a lot of this stuff good already good to go um I see you almost have it done i do i don't know what you guys are complaining about this done. Is yeah. see, she's done <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay uh let's start with the darks get the darks in i'm gonna go with that start off my uh red dark here let's see how dark this is i'm going to start with my rock here in front 
and just get the the edges which, around it. Which, uh, wait, wait, wait. Dark. Which red dark? Which red dark? We have like three. Which red dark? Uh, which one? This is the uh, burnt. Uh, uh, but, but, but you got me. You got me. This is Venetian and blue. First one. Yes, Venetian blue. You got me. Isn't that the first one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it okay. is. And the front side. I'm going to make sure that has a, reads a little bit more on the red side and stuff, at least at the bottoms and stuff. Then on the back of the rock, I'll go with the blue, just a little bit on the cooler side right in here. It's hard to tell. My, my brush has still got a lot of red in it. But this is just slightly different than that. And that's the kind of little things that really make a difference in these kind of little areas here. This is probably almost feels like it's almost too dark already. But I'm just going to recreate, stretch this out and let it blend out a little bit into these areas like this. Okay, and just see how it goes. Just use up a little bit of paint. Because as I grab this brown and stuff, I can feel like, yeah, it might need to be a little redder, but I don't want it like almost full strength, right? Like here and stuff. And also want to break that edge. I'll be going back into that thing one more time. Back in here, just as it gets a little bit red more. So this has a, on the red side of that, like it's right the same color I'm using here. I'm just putting it on that. And I'll be using that right in where the water meets too, right in here. And I can use it right into pretty much this whole section. I can use, use it there. I'll probably, when I get to about this area here, uh, about halfway of this house and stuff here, uh, that's where I'm gonna go back to the blue side. Make sure it's blue and purple and stuff for my shadows and stuff. And then I'm just gonna kind of like create the, the back of these rocks here and stuff. So this is where they all meet the water and stuff. These will all be, this is the darkest they're gonna be and stuff. They're all gonna be, you know, get a little bit lighter and stuff. I'm also, what I found, that's good to know right there. Um, this color here will also be, looks like there's a little, little path right here on the, on the building itself. I can put it in with that. I might have to lighten it here and there, but it's going to be the base, a really good undercoat and give me that boom, real strong, uh, sharp edge for that bottom of that, that house. I'm not going to be working and it comes right here to the, to the edge too. And that's just a basically I'm a, a brush stroke out from, from that using this big brush, big idea idea. Okay. Of course there's, any of this kind of stuff, just keep it loose and it doesn't matter as much. Uh, any of the rocks in here really you want to, uh, this thing's going to be so powerful. Uh, you know, you won't, it won't be able to, you know, this stuff won't, be, you don't want to fight with it. You want it being too complex that even, because this is a very simple kind of image. And if we have this, these guys too complicated, they're gonna steal a lot of the information from here and just gonna, you're gonna concentrate here and you're gonna miss that. It'd be hard to miss it. You could, you could. So I'm gonna paint the blue reds in. I'm gonna go right into the red. And I'm not gonna worry about the window. I'm not gonna paint the windows. I'm just gonna paint the shapes and paint both these rectangles really strong. I'm gonna go with my darkest red here. And that is the uh, Venetian. No, yeah, I think it has just a touch of ble Venetian. It's cad red. Just a touch of Venetian has a little bit of blue and it has a, a lot of glycerin in it. Stuff. And I want to make sure, I want to get that really strong here. Follow my line here. I'm going to put it in. Even if it's too dark, that's fine. Because it's always nice to, you know, bring it back up. So I'm gonna kind of put in kind of flat too. So it's not gonna be, I'm using my big, big brush here and stuff. So 
you know, I'm going to put in just a little bit flat. And then I got these other colors that I can still bring in back in and thing to lighten it. But so I'm just going to see how beautiful that's. Why? That's the Venetian in blue. Venetian. Uh, it started off with cad red and Venetian. Uh, no, no. This is dark. You're right, right. It's, it's a cad red and alizarin in blue. Venetian was I used on the front side with cad red. You got me. There. You can hope you're happy. Thank you. I, See, I can't I can't get I made with that are not even that dark, so I have to figure it out. I don't think I have any white at all in here. I'm using I use the cad red. I use the cad red color. I think it's uh, what really uh, changed it. And trying to get this angle here. So this, this is being able to do that line there, right there with this brush. You know, it's so nice. There you go. I'll go back in and just finish these things up. Get the block in then. Also, uh, you know, there's a little shadow here and stuff too. So it comes up, you know, right behind the house, kind of. So get that in and you can go, you can even cheat it, you know, a little bit farther knowing that you got to put this little bright red that it's going to make the side of this house and stuff in. So it's always good to have a little bit of that strength in there. I'm going to lighten this color a little bit. I'll be bringing some more cad red into it and stuff and brushing it in. But the shape's pretty much there. Uh, since it's dark and stuff, I got dark on my brush. I always think about where else I'm going to be going and stuff. So I would say I'd go right here on the roof. And I think we went back in and I made a cad red and yeah, cad red and blue mix. And uh, my blue version or the red version? No, not the red version. Blue version? Uh, I'm using the, I was going with the blue version, a little bit of more blue on this. Yeah, this brush makes me smile every time I use it when it does things like I can get a shape like this so simply, you know. Yeah, it's, it just got it more like being careful than uh, anything else. I mean, this is this just makes it very. This is the thing here I'm making really going back and putting in a blue, blue, purple up here. And this is, I think, came off the, uh, uh, when we were making in the very beginning, uh, cad red and blue mix. This is a very blue version that I put up here. And that's gonna be on this, just on the shadow side of that ridge there. It's also gonna be probably up here on the top of this, uh, uh, White House too. You don't have to worry about. It. So I'm always prepared. It. Um. Gosh, I think this goes up just a little bit higher. Put up just wire. Yeah, now put in this front area here. That's going to be just 
uh, CAD red and uh, I put in with the I want to put in with the dark uh, CAD red and uh, Venetian color here. Yeah, I'm just gonna really just end up kind of almost painting this whole thing this color and then painting back in a couple things because this is really pretty close to this color. I mean, it's, there's some light variations in, in, this, in this color, but it's not like crazy. What I, the cool thing about whenever I do buildings and stuff is I like to, is getting these shadows on a building to line up, you know, so they're not, that's always like the little teeny challenge I like of getting a shadow that goes across one, one, one surface and then bends around the next one and they, and they, you know, the right angle, you get the right angles on them and stuff and they just, just, I kind of enjoy Enjoy doing that. Stuff and getting that to work. Um, so that'll, that'll have to be a little, little lighter yet. Um, but when I do that, I'll do this up here too, that little section. Uh, you know, I could paint this the sky in, but it's, or paint this, this building in, but it's too soon for that. And I don't want to put in these rocks and this stuff, since any of this stuff yet, um, because I got I, I need this. I want the sky. I want to be able to have a lot of sky left. So I got to put the sky in. So I'm going to make sure I got my brush pretty cleaned out. I got a lot of red in it. I think this is close there. I mean, it, this has to be lightened up, and I still got to put go back in and put in the. the stack there but uh i don't think i want to do anything the, the windows are just going to be a perfect this is just so perfect just to go a little square make your rectangles so definitely get this brush so let's start with the dark area i'm going to work start up here and this is just the blue and phthalo green and white just has a little bit more blue in it there in this section. Now I'm going to even very quickly just have a little bit of that in there to bring it into the clouds. Okay. But then I'm going to transition to the blue green over on this side. So it's just a little bit bluer on that side. Now it's going to go to the blue green right quickly. And as you can see, it's very smooth, right? Right. So I am grabbing oil, giving my brush about, say about not halfway, but probably a quarter of the way in here and getting this paint. And just, you know, making sure it's movable. That's why I want And I want to just blend these guys out just enough as I come down. So that's my darkest areas right here on, on it. Now I'm going to really shoot down to a brighter area. Hey, the NCA start today? You must have, right? I think so. What the start? The basketball tournament? Yeah. The play-in games, Jim. Just the play-in games are today? Yes. Oh, okay. I think so. I might be wrong. But... Okay. As I get down here and stuff, I'm not even like paying attention to really where I should have been paying attention when I had to do so much and too much work here. I would let that go. It could have been a thing. Uh, cloud could have been there. I wouldn't have to do anything. 
I'm just kind of very lazy when it comes to painting, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> no, it's just part, it's part of the deal. You're trying to get, you know, you know how simple it has to be sometimes on, on these things. You know, that's why I look at this and I go, it's very graphic, this shot. And I don't have to do a whole, whole lot. This color here has got to lighten up a lot before it comes down here. It gets me about that color at the end. So I'm going to really shoot down here. See if I can get my lightest color down in here. Probably touch the red and get red everywhere. See, also when I put in the water and stuff, it'd be nice to have a have some paint in here already making making contact with that area. So when I do grab it, you know, hit it and stuff with the, the water line and stuff, it'll naturally blend and stuff and it won't look like, you know, I went back and reworked it or anything. Just knowing how things are, are gonna react. Okay, there we go. Pretty simple, nice little simple gradation from, from top to bottom. Soft brush, just barely touching, barely touching, just, just, just enough to blend it out. Okay, let's do the water. Let's get the water in. I'm about done, guys. This is it. This is it. Now let's do the cloud. Since I got blue on my thing, I want to just go right into the cloud. I mean, I could do that. I will be doing that, but I, the cloud is dark. I've already started with these darks and stuff. And I want to test myself and see how, if I want too dark and stuff, I, this hot side of the house. That's going to be just a hair too dark, probably. So I can take just a little bit of the sky cloud over here, color here I got left, and I can throw it in this and pretty much knock it right to, to about the right spot. I was just a couple degrees too dark, but that in, in mixing my shadow colors. So even that gray, uh, Lynette wanted to know about how I made it and stuff. Then I have to have just a little bit more, uh, more sky or sky color in it. Boy, these guys look all about the same. There should be some blue or gray here. Underneath. See, this has got to be some blue grays right in here. So I'm going back and grabbing the sky and adding it to it. This is going to be way. There we go. Just get it in. A lot of white that's going to have to come back in and do some really strong work on this, but it will. Let's find out where this guy's going to be. Okay. And really, I'm now mixing a lot of this lower uh, white gray, right? White. Uh, blue green into my colors and stuff, especially right in here, because it's really light and it got to be a lot lighter than when I mixed up. This goes right in that house. It looks like I'm short on that house. That window, too. Whatever. I could get a roof. Also, one of the things, the great thing about talking about perspective and stuff again about this point and stuff. It's close enough, and I'm not really going to try and put too many hard lines in. Most of them are going to be like this up here. They're going to blend. So you got you got a little bit on that side, a little bit on this side. You know, to to feel like it's it's going in the right direction. So you got a little cheat areas. Let's think about. I'm 
down here, I think a lot of this stuff, even the shadow, the, any of uh, the shadows on these uh, clouds down here, it'd be very small. Yeah. I mean, even the highlights, etc., it can be pretty simple. I'm not going to probably going to go too deep into them. Okay. That's pretty close. I just really the highlights and the these clouds and stuff should do it. Yeah. Give myself a little more room to play. Okay. Now I can go into the water. Now I feel good about what going in the water. And I'll start off with this blue, uh, blue gray, uh, green up there. And I use that pretty much for the water line behind these rocks here. Just a little bit of, I think this is Lake Michigan or Huron. That's a blue gray, you said? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's this blue up, blue up here from the, the sky. Oh, okay. I'm using that in this area here. And again, I down though. Yeah. And I'm just gonna run it, run a finger over it just to push it back and just soften the edge. Clean finger, clean finger. All right. So now we can make it make it around this thing a little bit. Start thinking about. See the thing with these waves and stuff that you know they do come in. Roll a little bit, and so we want to leave a little bit of space in your darks and stuff. We don't want to like create too much of a, too much of a, a pattern going back and stuff. We want. So that's the thing about this one. Is there's really I mean it's really quick. And this is, if we would have went farther out here, then you would really notice, notice the pattern going across and stuff. And then it would have, you would have got pulled away from this thing a little bit more. I'm still on that blue thing. I'm just using it. It's mixing up really quite almost. It's, it's close to the right, the right value and stuff. Now that it's mixed with the stuff. So I started off with this back in here blue gray the blue that came from here and as it mixed with the underpainting which is that burnt sienna again you know it's it starts to become the right color the right value and family of colors and stuff so it's doing a yeoman's work here thank you that's a, that's sometimes you just gotta get lucky And see a lot of this, these things, these transparencies that are happening here with the brush and stuff. This is where you can take some time and understand what's going on here. And, you know, we'll be able to use these things to our advantage. We don't want to cover up the transparencies that much because that's what gives this water volume and stuff, gives it the underneath and the top. Because we're going to have uh, a lot of these, as you can tell back in here, this kind of stuff here how solid and opaque it is and stuff. It's nice to have a juxtaposition of that against some transparencies and stuff. That's really, really fills out your work. So I'm just really just <laughs> getting a lot done with this one brush. So I'm just trying to get, waiting for my colors to change where I don't have to use and stuff. So I'm just, basically going through here and you know hitting these these dark spots and reinforcing them and getting my midtones through too then I like I don't have to change too many colors there. But now I got a dirty brush which is tells me I can go into this area here nicely and I can get into these all those uh, one colors on the side over here on the bottom right side and stuff of the palette 
you know, all those ones we added sky to and stuff. To the, we added these oranges and then we added sky to it and stuff. And they became this, these blue greens and greens, gray, out of these warm grays. So that's where I'm heading. I still got, uh, you know, all these cloud colors that I went too dark on. You know, I still have those on the palette. And I think they're going to end up being, you know, probably going to end up in, in these areas and stuff. So nothing, okay, nothing goes to waste. So I'm going to start off with my blue greens that are going in here. These are the ones where uh, uh, our, um, I used sky and then I put in uh, burnt, uh, burnt sienna into them, I think. You see about that, that goes more in here. That's almost too rich. That needed a little bit, that's in, in between. And I'm just gonna kind of kind of mock some of these shapes in here. I see, I can see, see like the, the few things that are just going at a, a downward stroke. And I try to break it down into strokes again that I can kind of visualize and do. Of course, we got some pretty cool little things happening right in here. And again, just like the rocks on Monday night, you can get away with a, just a roll of your brush sometimes will do this, will create the shape. I see this is warmer over there though. There's this one spot right in here. It does have a little more warmth in it. And of course that, comes down what it is is the reflection of that red in the so I know okay these guys gotta be come straight down and stuff yeah it, it can it can move in in the wave and stuff and bend and stuff like that but this shape this this color has to come start being in this area here just because it's reflecting that square. Might be a little lighter. So that's where I'm just figure that out. So I get that right. Everything else should be should be fine. I mean I can use this start to find a couple of these a few Jane, spots anyways. Yeah. What color are you using on your rocks? Right now? Good question. Hell if I know. <laughs> right now I'm using now this is with the color we made up, the blue and the burnt burnt umber or burnt sienna and, and white. Oh I, then I used sky into it. I added sky to it. Okay. That's this blue green. This is this great green army green type color. Oh, okay. And you're putting that in the shadows? Yeah, into the shot. I'm start. Yeah, it's going to be the prominent um, color to to uh, to get these uh, colors to you know it's 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 the dominant color in those shadows here, and then I'll come back in and uh, lighten up some spots. But I'll be using that as my base color, and then uh, that should do really well. You know, you can use it over here a little bit. I'm just working in a lot less though. So finding that in these in these rocks and stuff, and then just twisting off some big strokes and stuff in here and here, you could create all this mess quite easily. But don't tell anybody how easy it is. No one's gonna believe it. No problem. Right? Yeah, you don't <laughs> you know when you guys definitely we won't believe it. You guys go off and teach your classes too now. Right? You cheat. <laughs> That'd be amusing. That'd be amusing for you. 
Well, now yeah, when Bailey guys could do it, uh, yeah, yeah, imagine. <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, you guys are scary. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you guys can handle it. They'd be it. terrified of us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. I told that when I talked that, told Dave, that new guy, that, yeah, you guys bite. So uh, he believed me, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to, you know, start getting into some of these little warmer browns and stuff. And a lot of times, just in this stuff, you know, I'm putting down, I'm working with a color here. I put it down and I can see that that's not right. It's not the right color there, but I, it almost automatically sh shoots me over here. That goes, yeah, it's not there, but it could be this color. So it's always just, you know, got to try some things out sometimes. That it might not work, but that also, you do got to be picky about those things. But if it's not working there, don't keep putting it there. Find out where else you can go. Or find out why it's not working there. See, a lot of these colors here I made up are so close together that they don't do anything. I'm just finding that out. Like, oh, I thought I found, I found the key. When I was mixing there, I had the key for this for this section. And I just realizing right now that no, it's not, it wasn't either my key. I over overwent my key with my key. And everything was everything has that that sky in it. So all of a sudden it just becomes the same color. Because there's not it's enough. Fun up that you messed us up. Is that a nice huh? way of and is, is you like the colors you made. I like the colors I made, but I'm finding that they are too close together. Okay. They don't, they don't, they're not reacting to other colors. It's that because when they go right next to each other, they're not. Okay, I see. They're not vibrating enough. So they didn't change enough. So um, instead of going with that, I'm going to shoot to my lighter colors that I know are going in, in these areas and see about getting some of these uh, sections back real quick and finding out that this color here will probably, probably create the whole range I needed instead of uh, change, you know, mixing up all these, they're really nice blue greens, skies and stuff, but they just didn't separate when you put them next to each other on the, on the canvas here. So instead of just keep putting them in there and thinking that the next one's going to change, the next one usually doesn't change it enough. Now, this is that really kind of bright green. It was a phthalo green I put in, I mixed up. And, uh, and just phthalo green and white. And then I just put a little bit of the sand in it and stuff. It didn't do much. But you can find, see what it does is these colors here. It has this little richness, just really pops that water up. And so, so sometimes you get lucky too. Just by not paying attention to what you're doing, sometimes you run across a better color. But just gotta notice what you're doing. So that's why it's always nice just to, you know, get down a rhythm, get down how to you know, build your palette for the paint and stuff. So when you get there and stuff, you can you can you know, spend time thinking about, you know, if a color's right or not, or if it's working hard enough. You know, sometimes, you know, like we were talking about on Monday, we talked about being less is more a lot of times. A lot of times it is right. I'm finding right in here, I'm getting a lot of work. The color I didn't think was in this really going to do anything is really the one that's doing the work. And it's just this phalo green and white and just a little bit of uh, that uh, burnt sienna in it. And yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, 
it's going to be a lot into all these really heavier uh, spots in the, sh in the waves, in the shadow wave parts of these under parts of the waves. And then the top part is going to be a lot lighter. It's going to be these probably in here on top in these areas. That's where I'm thinking that those colors are going to be. So right now I'm just painting in the, the shadows of the thing. And I'm going to put them in with this, knowing that this is going to be three quarters of the way there, but it's got to be a little darker and stronger in a few places. So I can go back. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't think it would. It doesn't got enough green in it. But it, the value I made of the uh, cloud bottom is the right value for this where I'm doing now, doing the waves I'm finding. So I'm just going to just putting a little more phalo green into this color right here. And just that's just going to be the, the breaking point. And then right in here is where it kind of just blends together in these. And if you can do it with a little bit of move running running start with your brush you can you know just you know run it and just let it dry hit and move, bounce off you can get a lot of this movement you see here and I got it there I got to find it over here and I'm finding it right in that corner right here in this dark right here and find, find where that color also can be. It's just going to give that water just a lot of transparency. Because you got this. The thing is, I can't keep going and putting in more and more stuff because you'll lose your transparency really quick. So this is like Kind of fun you guys gotta go you gotta pick say okay one pick up sticks you know what's gonna <laughs> i can only pick up one more you know and then the, the whole thing is gonna go so fine yeah there's gonna be just a few little lights in here and i think a lot of this stuff is just gonna be a soft brush kind of just going over this trying not to lose transparencies and stuff, but just softening a couple of these these edges of the strokes and recreating them in just a slightly different way. All right, that looks good. How's everybody doing? I just can't be nine o'clock already, is it? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. My, my clock's going off upstairs. Oh my God, it is. It is nine o'clock. Okay. Jeez Louise. Got a half hour to finish this painting. Come on guys, hurry up. All right. Um, so I, since I got that blue and stuff, I'm gonna put the, go right into these, uh, quit talking a second here and uh, finish up the water real quick. Uh, and I'm gonna try to do that, but I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna try and do first is really load up my brush, you know, dip it in oil, grab my, uh, the color I think it is. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna darken it down. I think, I think I'm using right in here value. And I think, let me just put it to a little quick test. Yeah, it's just too much color. About the right value. What about this gray? No, that's not definitely not it. So it's back to that white, but it just has too much what too much uh, color in it. I'm just gonna put a little. This is where I'll put some unbleached white into this this blue gray. And just gray it out a little bit. 
It's just too too strong here. See, it's just too strong. That one. We got to get rid of that one. So, so that's where I'm using my unbleached white into my very light leftover uh, sky here and stuff. That's where I use some unbleached white, and that's where I'm using to uh, do the topper of these uh, of these waves. At least the the major uh, section I can do that with that. I'm going to just grab a little bit of oil, grab my paint, coat, and try to get right next to it. And let it come out just a little bit too much. Same thing again, just step and repeat. A little bit, and then over here, this is okay. I can play with this a little bit more, but let's get the house done. So I think I just used up the paint. Up. I think I just used up the paint I was supposed to use for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Let me oh, see. Gosh. Yeah. But that's just a blue gray. I mean, that's a phthalo green, I think. Yeah, I'm off. We're going to mix it up real quick. I'm going to leave it on the blue side. So it's going to be like from that very uh, blue phthalo green, but it's on the, blue, on the blue side. I might even add some more red to it, too. I'm thinking now. So it's just going to be blue. And white. And the thing about getting this color is really making sure it's the right value. Ow, no, stop it. A little lighter, not much though. And then putting it in. No. So we've got a half hour to finish this. Let's see. I'm going to do the part top half. Of this house. Let's see if that's the right value. That'll work. It's probably just a touch, uh, touch gray, or maybe just, you know, bleach white into it. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. oh. Is that your sky blue with unbleached white, James? Yes, I think it is. Okay. I think it's working. Well, I didn't even put any out. <laughs> you complaining again? Yeah, I tell you. I just did that with the propane. She does these beautiful paintings from this stuff, and I still get get the attitude. Can you believe it? Mm-hmm. Jesus, Jesus. Since I got this color, I'm gonna add just a little bit of more blue to it, just to make it a little bit stronger. And I'm gonna get my shadows. I'm gonna put this shadow in underneath this guy a little bit. And really push him just a little bit more than he probably is. This is like one of those spots where I was saying. Kind of nice to get when you get these lined up and stuff, knowing if these shadows the change the light and then get back to a shadow and stuff, they kind of uh, you know, getting the line up and stuff. It's always tough. But it's what really kind of brings off the interest, even when it's, you know, a, can be a very simple painting, but just by having it being able to turn that corner and stuff. There we 
we go. I think the bottom part right in here just feels a little blue, a little redder. And I might put a little red in here. Same value, just a little bit of CAD red. And then we'll go back in real quick and finish off, spend the rest of the time on this house. I think then I'll, I'll do it. No, not it. Um, yeah, I agree. Somebody tell that guy, I agree. It's okay, tell us all about it. Yeah. <laughs> he barks at everything. Is he a barker? Yes, next month I have this new thing that's called, um, let's see, what's it called? A stop woofer. It's an ultrasonic bark deterrent. Uh, and I, you can't use it on them until they're at least five months old. And I didn't know that when I bought it, but that's all right. <laughs> you had to wait till these five months before you could. Well, apparently, I didn't, I know, I didn't know this, but their ears are still developing until they're five months old. Oh, really? And, yes. And when, yes. And when you use something like this, um, in fact, I read it on this, that it was in the instructions that yeah. said that their ears are still developing and it can um, harm them if you start doing something like this too soon. Isn't that interesting? It is. It is. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have like, thought. Well, it's lucky they told you that. <laughs> you yeah. That's one of those deals where it's good to read the instructions before you. Well, yeah. At least you know that you know it before you, you did any harm, right? Right. Right. Okay. Sweetie. Uh, Jim, what color did you use just below uh, the blue? Right there. I put in a hey! just. Excuse me. I put I put in just a little bit of this uh, this uh, cad red and stuff, just a scraping that into this blue. Okay. And it grayed it out and stuff, and I'm still putting it in just just lightly. You know into the blue and stuff not trying no. to get not trying to make a total blue thing out of it pee right here uh-oh that dog's in trouble and ronnie is stop it <laughs> i said no <laughs> all right this white is pretty close. I'm now going to get that in. I'm going to put it in with just a little bit yeah. of the red yeah. in mind. So it has just a little bit yeah. of red, in, mostly white, kind of gray. And we'll see if we can get it straight up and down and mix it up. Start off with a good base coat. He's not done that. Huh? He hasn't done that since I potty trained him. He pee? Well, he was fixing to. I stopped him. But he had oh. that old leg hacked up there. Oh, man. You're not giving him enough attention tonight. That's what I it know. is. I've been gone going... all night. Oh, yeah. I went with my daughter and granddaughter shopping. And you just but you're still here. You're still here. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. Just call me your moral support. That's it. That's what I need. The rest of these people, see, they, they're at least re paying attention. Yeah, and they're concentrating. Yeah. See, they're just concentrating. Thank you for making, yes, yes, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing good work. We'll see it in a second here. See what they're doing. 
See, Lisa, what you missed? I know. Uh, I, was, I like this class. Is all, I, this is all Lisa's fault for missing this class and stuff. So I'll miss more. I thought this was going to be a little easier, too, than it was. But you always say that. I know. I think that. I think it is, you know. Well, it is for you. Yeah. Well, maybe that's it. Huh? I don't want to keep. I'm just keeping grabbing red and just moving it around here and stuff. Basically, I want to get my brush and really get some paint. And separate out this section up here. She feels like cool, too cool. All that color I mixed up and I mix it up too cool. I need to. I mean, you only have 40 something piles there. Yeah. But it's good to recognize it right away before I just keep painting and stuff, knowing that this color should have been needed to be warmer than it was. Now, I'm trying to get, get you guys to have good habits. Oops. You know, just like that dog training. I know. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, this is like one of the key points to getting a, that little things, these guys to line up. Let's see if I can push that back over this edge over. Yeah, boy, that would have been perfect. I'll oh, sound off. Warmer. There we go. Now I'm really, I, I found out now, this is an ochre and white mix, more ochre in it, it's not as quite as pale stuff. So I'm gonna, you know, before I put windows and everything else in, I like to get everything kind of set up and underneath it stuff so I don't have to go back to make sure my shadows and stuff are in, in place. Right, I still got a couple shadows up there to put in, put in a couple lines. I don't think it probably hurt even to go a little bit warmer on this section here than it is. Finally, it looks better. Just, I think I just, I was just a little cool. So it's an ochre and white. And these blues and stuff on top. That section back. Okay. Windows. Let me put in the couple windows. I might have to switch off uh, things. Windows are going to be very dark. I'm probably going to have to go in, really clean my brush out here. And go back to the very first colors. I think I'm going to go with. I feel like in these these windows here on the left side, really warm, so it has red in it. And on the other side, it kind of goes to uh, a uh, mid-tone gray. So if I can start off with, ooh, do I? Is this going to be too big? Would have been perfect. My brush is too big. I can't use that. That brush would cause too much. Jim, did you use your that pinky color on the um, the body of the house that's in the sun? Down is here yet? The no, middle I one. I, right now, it's, it's basically the one color. 
It needs to be brighter right in here yet, but it is okay. overall tone okay. And then there's still a couple lines I got to put in, but I think I'm just going to put a knife on them and they'll do it. But I was thinking about the windows here, trying to get them in the least work I can do, knowing where they got to go. I know they're up against that line. Not where we're at. Mix that too much. There you go. So I just got to repeat that same sh shape a couple more times. In perspective. So even these guys still follow, have to follow that line. So hopefully I'm, I'm not too far off. It's like I went a little bit too low, but I can, that's just too bad. I can fix that, I, that's good, good fix. That's about like greeny gray too. I'm going to have to come back and redo that dark. Dark. So it starts to mimic that a little bit. I'm probably a little bit too thick on some areas, too thin on some others. So. Just need to get some oil on my brush when I put these things in. Put these darks in right. Because you can do it, you can, it will stay. I'm just gonna keep going with that same color. I think it's this. Well, before I, I have to go back to my big brush. Get a new clean brush. It's too dark. Too dark. I'm gonna try and brighten up this uh, this orange down in here. I got the basically first color in on this color. I don't know. I need the brighter orange. Red orange put in now. And basically, it's more, it's more on right in here. Going back a little bit. Okay, looks like a pretty close. It just like I could 
I'm going to use some cad red in that. We need some fire. So I'm going to use a, just a little more, just throw more straight cad red now. Into my, I didn't really clean my brush out, but there's just a little bit of oops, straight cad red mix, going to mix in this color here. And that should give this, I'm going to put it on this edge. And that will help. You know, bring it just a little bit on here. And then when I put the doors and all the other stuff on, that'll be fun. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably. Overshot a little bit. Not close enough. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have to check out. Okay. Yeah, my headache medicine has kicked in, and I better get to the bed before I kill myself. <laughs> I enjoyed right. well, Thank you so much for, for joining advice. in. All right. Bye. 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 Okay. Now I got these darks and stuff that I'm just going to slightly go into them a little bit, lighten them up a little bit, but not too much trying to get, this is almost like a little bit of cat red, uh, in here just like i did right there just kind of coming in on on the inside of this these very dark areas just a little bit and just play with it just a so it doesn't look too flat this is where you this is where you end up with doing a lot of work if you don't take your time All right. I still got the wind, big window, everything else, just like this stuff here. It, it all has to be one shade lighter and stuff. So it's all going to get. Looks like a lot of cad red into this roof here, too. At least this one side here. We'll do it. Now I got just enough paint on my thing. I can just touch those edges of the, of the thing and be done. Beautiful. Simple enough. Let's mm -hmm. keep. How are you doing? Well, <laughs> tired yet? It's kind of a joke, but <laughs> you say that all the time. Well, and then you, we look at it and we don't see a joke. Well, let me take a look. Okay. Yeah. Cause I do have to go, but anyway, sure. Yeah. I'll take a quick look. Cause I don't want, you know, you, where'd you go? You went all the way down here. Okay. Is that it? Oh, there. Oh, nice work. Nice. Looks yeah. great. Yeah, very nice. That water is very <laughs> good. The well, water really good. Good. You started getting into the clouds very nicely. You followed along. Yeah, you just got to really, on your light side of the house, just pump it. I mean, you got you got the values are about the same in the red front as it is on the side. So really, you, right. you're going to find, like I just found, almost pure cad red going into that color right there. 
So okay. We'll, we'll work it up. You know, we'll brighten it up. Uh, then you probably, I think you got the the how the side of the white part of the house and stuff is going working out pretty good. I think you just got to be on the shadow side, just one more shade darker in that bottom square. And stuff. Okay. And then that's about it. I mean, then you you know finish up your clouds a little bit. You know, I didn't put in finish mine, so I don't expect you to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna you know. Uh, you might have to change uh, just uh, the when you put that red in on the bottom and stuff. You might have to bring down or bring up the. Hmm, I'm trying to see which which sides off. There's something slightly off. I think you can probably lift the left edge of that uh, line on the red uh, front. Uh, the very line. I think it just has to come up. You you just pivot it from the the one corner of the red red to to the other one if it just comes up a little bit to almost where that cloud intersects with the building and stuff there's uh, i think it just got to come up that much i don't know what you can oh do. i see what you mean yeah okay so um, i'm looking it's at the, so the left side of the house is well my left yeah yeah i mean okay yeah. so yeah yeah it's the on the closer side uh, okay yeah. yeah. Okay. Bring bring up the foundation a little. Just yeah, just a hair, just a just a little bit, but just keep the one corner where it is, and just just bring it up on the other side. Just okay. straight, do a straight line to that, and yeah. I think it looks like it could be right around where that uh, the cloud intersects the building uh, okay. on the on the left there. A lot of angles. It's really yeah. Cool. I think the I think this everything in the shadow side is good. I think it's just a uh, just that one angle there. I think that one, if you straighten that out just a little bit, you know, I think you can get away with every, all the other angles, the roof angles look okay. Okay. And the water, right. the water's, the water's looking very cool. Well, I mean, it's coming yeah. along very nice. Well, I got, I have a lot more to do, but it's, yeah, it's fun. It, Thank it's you. It's going to be nice. I like Thank the you. water too. Really nice colors and reflections in the water. Yeah, well, thank you. And, and yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Thank it doesn't you. look like you, you work too hard there. Who's oh, left? yeah, sure. <laughs> Anybody else? Let's see. Cindy would be next if Cindy can want to show. Yeah, looks pretty bad. I'm here. It's a Thursday night. You're not used to working on a Thursday night. That's true. Oh, look at you. You it's always great. say that. The drawing. Wow. Oh, wow. You know what? Getting, the red is coming up into the white. It just keeps uh -huh. bleeding in there. So yeah, I have to no. let that dry a little bit. Right. Right. You have to, yeah, just like I know that's right where you are because I'm the exact same spot going. If I keep going at this, you know, you keep touching it, touching it, doesn't get better. <laughs> it doesn't because this is all, I mean, it was just a second ago, this was very pink. <laughs> okay. Well, you oh. you know, it looks, the drawing looks good on it. The drawing looks really Beautiful. good on it. I Thank think you. if you got time, I would probably, and I like what's going on in the water. You got a couple of rocks there, gorgeous. Thank you, you got a, just They're a couple, beautiful. just a little softness on it and it looked great. It looks great. I think, uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, uh, yeah, just work, do the same thing to your clouds, you know. Yeah, you I haven't know, even the, started the cloud. I just put the dark part in, and actually, none of these rocks have any paint on them, just the dark. So, yeah, I did like how um, by accident when you put the the blue of the sky, the darkest blue of the sky in the water, and you hit the dark, that it kind of made it a depth in there. You know, yeah. like a, a shadow. I I like that was an accident. So that was that's what you were talking about, I think. And I'm like, oh yeah, that does work pretty good. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's beautiful. No, beautiful. Like the water and stuff and the end of the house, everything's drawn oh. well. You just gotta, you know, yeah. You gotta be just quick working. Gotta, you're too, too damn slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get that cloud in and that's, you know, you're gonna, that, that paint is really coming along. I mean, I think the, yeah, the, just the little clouds and stuff in the, into the, the bare sky there. 
when you get those guys in too, that's just really going to settle everything down. That, you know, it's going to be beautiful. It is beautiful so far. Just keep going in that direction. That kind of simple brush movement really just pop, pops against yeah. all your detail work and stuff. Just that kind of stuff. Just it's nice contrast. Good. Thank Good you. job. Yeah. Thank you. Ava. It was fun, but it was interesting. All these little angles on that house. Oh, my God. Just They are there. I mean, they are tough to do. They are tough. Oh, look at, look at, she could do it. Ava did it. Oh, yeah, look at those angles. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. That thing's gorgeous. Dude. Man, that thing's, that thing's so, so handsome. Solid. I'm actually thinking of leaving it like this. No windows. I would. I, surreal. You, it, it, it reminds me of like a wood, Grant Woods. You've got the colors exactly right. And you're paint, putting them in there just in the right amount. And, uh. Yeah, I love the way it's looking. I don't think you have to do too much. If you want, you know, it, it, yeah, you're doing fine. I think you're going to finish the clouds, though. You talking about that? that oh, part? yeah. Yeah, yeah I definitely. Like the, I like the way, it, yeah, I do like the way it's looking, yeah. Good, yeah, thank like you. Them. Just, yeah. Did you, you soften that red line uh, to the white, right? In the yes. front? Good. Yeah. Just want to make sure I want to do it the same way. And the same with the blue and stuff. <laughs> uh, no, you have, this is where you see it, you see it, and you see it done right and go, okay, okay. I'd say one thing for you though, watch the tangent, even though it's there, of the lighthouse and the roof and stuff. Make sure that the, yeah, that, right. that edge is above the, the roof line. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's You're it. Right. That, That's that, fine. No good. Okay. You do that, and it's just gonna boy. That's beautiful. I mean, that's that's the kind of one you know. Even it goes with the perspective of the paint uh, of the photo and stuff. The your paint job and stuff, and it's, it's really nice. Wow! Thanks. Congrats! Thanks. Good painting for a Thursday night. Yeah, Yay. very nice. I love the color harmonies. Yeah. Are you? Did you paint with us? Who me? Yeah, you. Yes. Okay. So I didn't get. I'm slow, and I had to. I had to um, restart because. Um, Ooh. Nice start. Yeah. Nice. I had to restart because the I got a new burnt sienna and I used that for the undertone and the it didn't work so i had to rub it off and i tried other i tried oh. my uh, transparent oxide red and i was leaving it on for a little while so it would leave some color but yeah it's still not right so hey hey no excuses play like a champion <laughs> wow so, hey lenny that's that's looking really sharp well i don't know about the um you know uh, I don't know if I've got the colors exactly right, but I'll watch the recording and, you know, go over it again. <laughs> hey, I don't know if I got them exactly right, but yours is look at, I, I can look at it from here and say you got a lot, a lot of good things right and stuff. And I think you're, you're, you know, you can feel the coolness of the water shadow or the glare on top, you know, on top there. That looks, that feels good against the darkness. Looks good. They feel very nice. You know, you're just missing like the, this, that in between tone, but you do got this blue, yeah. beautiful blue green in there. Yeah. Boy, the bird sienna in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, you know, it's fun just to, you knowing that, you know, just mixing some, a little bit of that sky color more into that color. You can, you're going to get a couple of very nice variations are going to fit nice. I like the movement of your cloud so far. I like the shadow. I mean, the, the shadow of it and stuff and how much you almost didn't even paint any of the white. I like the way you, you use, I don't know if those are brush strokes or finger marks uh, from the, from the uh, Clear. white of the cloud into the blue, into the sky, but. Oh, it's that, a brush. <laughs> that's a brush, but boy, that's beautiful. Thank you. you know. I, yeah. Um. I'll work on it. I know it needs a lot more work, but it was fun. And 
I, you know, I never pre-mixed my paints before, so this is new for me, and you know, I never had um, learned to um, think at plan my painting ahead like you're doing. So I'm well, learning a lot. <laughs> well, we are, uh, you know, it, it, we are working from photos, so we do have that extra time to plan ahead and get the colors right, and it, and that's that's the kind of stuff you you need to have that kind of time where you can spend the rest of your time thinking about your painting instead of, you know, mixing colors, trying to get the right color, knowing that your colors are there and you're set. It just takes the pressure off when you paint. Yeah. It's, it's looking um, good. It's really the, you know, the way to go. And, and I'm learning a lot and I'm thankful. So. Oh, you should be thankful. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, that's a, that's a really nice start there, Lenny. Thank you. Hey, and it's nice meeting your rabbit. <laughs> That's a nice rabbit. That's a huge guy. He's huge. Okay, uh, DJ, can you show? Yeah. Uh, come on. <laughs> You've had all week to paint on it. So, yeah. Yeah. so, so you've been stuck at home for the, the whole week? Mm hmm so hopefully you're, you had a big enough refrigerator for all your Oh, food. nice. Beautiful. It's mm, okay. Nice. It's all right. Yeah, it's the okay. water is beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's nice. It's, 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 yeah. It's a so work. You, you have I a, love it. It's you beautiful. do a good job of putting in your clouds and, and make, getting those subtleties into the sky and stuff. You did a really nice job on that. Thank you. And stuff. It's, it's yeah. the base. For me to get this far in your class is actually amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, usually, I'm usually so slow. And I, you. I really pushed it because I <laughs> at least. Well, that's good. No, it's you. I, it, it's, it's looking really, really great. And you being a Michigan, Michigan girl, you know, and this being a Michigan lighthouse too. Yeah. So. So this okay. goes goes good with you, yeah. I, it's that water. I'm just, the more I look at it and see the translucency of the your blue green into that water and stuff. It almost you know it's, it just start starts pulling you in and pulls you under a little bit. <laughs> so nice, so nice, nice work there. Work just there. keep keep that going on the other side of the rocks a little bit, and okay. uh, I would say uh, you know yeah you, you just like you know finish up the the house and check your angles yeah I think, uh, my oh. angle, they're all kind of lopsided <laughs> there's a lot that, of angles on this one yeah a lot of goofy angles i would say right off the bat that a couple you got a couple couple angles uh in the whites on the front the well, middle the whole, one the whole way up high it should be tipped <laughs> down a little bit so that's a uh, you know a little bit sometimes you just got to find the happy medium there a little bit because like the roof could be going up too high at an angle. I mean, might be too steep at the back end. So you might have to lift up the front, the other side over the, over that window peak and stuff. You might have to lift it up just a hair more. Uh, okay. I think you do that. You, I think that's, that's the, that one, probably the one that bothers me the most, but I like. The one that I just, see that bothers me is this one. That one? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it goes, it's not straight up and down. Yeah, it's slightly off. Mm -hmm. I figured you'd catch it. You usually, you've been catching all your work and stuff. You're doing a really great job of painting on your own. Uh, of, you hey. know, really bring, taking these things to another level and stuff. And that's really great, great, great way to work. Uh, yeah, well, I, you're, I, you're on I your way with this. I'm slow on my own, but I'm trying to find the happy medium. So I just decided to not worry about it tonight and just try to follow you. That was my goal to just keep up with you at, at, at on some level. It's hard to do. It is hard to do. I know. I know. Really where I know. I know yes. exactly. I know the dance steps, and you guys don't. At least on this painting, where I'm going to be going with it and stuff. And so you guys are, you know, able to keep up at all. I, I guess I would, I'd be surprised. Okay, Karen. There she Karen. is. Karen. Hi. We get to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Karen. Yeah, but you know, my my computer's terrible and he can never see my stuff. 
You have to go uh, real slow. So. Yeah, you, yeah, you're, you're almost frozen. There you go. Oh, there you, that's okay on the painting, though. When you freeze on the painting, we, I can get to understand it. Hopefully, when I talk back to you, I'm not breaking up that much. Can you, uh, can you uh, no. uh, take the right side and push it towards the computer a little? No, just the right side. It's kind of, there you go. But there we go. Now I got the angles better. Yeah. Up oh, too close. There you go. Yeah, Get back up a little bit. Hair back, bring back, there you go. There you go. There we go. Okay. The drawing looks pretty right, you know? I mean, it might be a little skinny on the building and stuff, but okay. uh, but the proportions, I think you can fix that. You might, if you wanted to, you could fix it. You might just, you know, take the shadow in and make it a little bit, probably too, probably almost to the, uh, Looks a little skinny. Let me look. Yeah, slightly skinny, slightly skinny. Uh, the way yeah. I want to be. <laughs> yeah, right now. It looks warm, doesn't it there? I like the way you're handling the water. Your strokes in the water are aggressive and, and meaningful and, you know, put in there like they're supposed to be. You know, you're not, they're not timid. And that's really a good way to put them in the especially those darks, you know, you put them in with some gusto and they really help out. They just do a lot of feeling for you. I like what's, I just, yeah, you're, the, the water just feels like it's moving or, no, that's yeah, you. It looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, think, I can't tell about the sky. Did You didn't get the sky painted in, did you? I did. <laughs> okay. All right. I was just going to say it looks a little... <laughs> Um, washed out on the top and stuff then I think you got to go a little bit brighter and bring it back down and because right now I'm not getting separation between, between the, the okay. canvas the, that color and the cloud so uh, it is a quite 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 a difference uh, okay. in value there for the blues and purple and it, but it can change pretty quickly when it comes right down to the house and stuff so you know but otherwise boy there's some really good stuff I even like the way you're your windows are going in there and stuff. But that water, though, just feels like it's yeah, like it. Great. That building's in the middle of an ocean. It feels like that. That water just is moving. It has a lot of life to it. You know, even even over the rocks. It's got. I, I can't really Thank see you. that. I can't see that, but I, I. It just feels good. You know, so you just know. A lot of times that if it feels good, it's probably right. So that's half the battle of knowing what things are, when they just feel right and. Uh, you know there's some really interesting stuff i think going on but like i said your your internet take connection. a picture yeah take a picture yeah can... my internet's terrible yeah you know but you know thank don't, you don't sell it don't sell it till i i critique it okay <laughs> i can't critique it after you sell it okay doesn't work that way. Thank you. All right, Lisa, you. you're up. Get off. She's, she, look at that. It was, it was very fun. Yeah. Lisa, oh. where are you? You got to turn your cap. There she is. Thank you. Come here, back. Here. Nice job, Karen. Oh, get rid of all the glare. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Holy nice. crap. Holy crap, Roo. <laughs> wow. After the water is a big muddy mess. Well, I thought I was fast today. You just know that water is gorgeous. <laughs> it's oh. I'm always happy when I keep up too. You yeah, nice, nice going. <laughs> it was kind of hoppery in wow. the wow. That water is gorgeous in the rocks. That's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah isn't wow. it? Wow. You are it's fast. I love you know what that. I'm learning to do? I'm learning to roll the paintbrush. Oh. Instead of my usual, you know, anal retentive thing, I'm trying to just roll it mm -hmm. right it across. It just does all the work. When you roll it in the right direction with the right amount of, you know, when you get that down and stuff, boy, it just does all the work for you. And you just like, you don't even think about the picture. You know, you start looking at this thing and you start going, wow. 
that water has some good depth to it and stuff. Your house is great. Right. Yeah. yeah. Your, your, your clouds, you know, your drawing on this thing is going to work out so well. You're strong. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's hope. That's, uh, that's, that's really nice. Boy. We'll see. Uh, you know, uh, I can't, I can't help you anymore right now today. I think uh, okay. you're on your way. Just keep finish, you know, blocking in it, blocking in everything. And, uh, yeah. you know, I just say whatever, when you watch the clouds and stuff, watch the edges of the clouds when they meet the sky, that there's a, you know, just a hair softness, but I love the colors you got going in the clouds. You made it better. You made this even better well, shot. No, I didn't. But I, I think mean, you I have. I think uh, when you get done with this, you're going to be surprised. I think it's keep you yeah. keep that same attitude. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will continue okay. on. All right. We, Thank you, everybody. I, I'm just loving it. You so, Michael, it. Michael, did you paint? I did. No way. Jose. Yeah. Michael painted. Okay. Hold let's. On. All right. Let me get it going here. Oh, man. Oh, nice. You know, I thought this was a oh, hard one. Cool. You got a big finger, Mike. Yeah, there, you there you go. Who are you, you trying to cover something up there, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> That's looking great. And you're, you're, you listened well on the colors. The colors are, are working out. The drawing's very nice. I mean, it, it has a, you know, they're, you know. Looks a few, good, the house looks good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's holding together and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble. We're gonna have to do the white value on the one side of the house, the shadow side, just a couple degrees darker than that. I would just wait till it dries before I. I think uh, anything go into that because I think you're gonna find out just like everybody else. Though, you, you can't, you can't, can't, can't. Yeah, the right the side, right. Brush. The right yeah. side of it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you might just wait. Wait on that. I would. Uh, that kind of thing. You got your rocks yet? The little rocks you're gonna put in and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna. I was just gonna let that dry just to shade, and then go in with kind of a sh sharper edge or kind of a gray color over that yeah. brown. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I think. Uh, yeah. No. No. That's great. I would get uh, right now with the paint you have. If you can, I try to get as close as you can to. Uh, to the the, the lighthouse uh, light and stuff at right around that thing yep. you know where it's just to make sure you got your paint paints in good shape and stuff for for when you do come back to it um and the same thing with the water in the in the rocks in the water and stuff i just uh we're gonna go about done and stuff it's always good to run a finger around the edges and stuff of the those the shapes the dark yep. shapes and stuff just to you'll find out that you, a lot of work will end up being done when you just run a finger through them and stuff. Uh, same thing with the, just the edges of that house uh, or the, the dark uh, underneath the house near the foundation on the left there, right above the water and into the sky, that little point and stuff. Just make sure you got a little finger on that. You put a finger on that edge because they'll, they'll match up to everything else, all the other edges. Okay. Okay. And then you know, then you can you you got your little uh, you know, Grandma Moses painting here and stuff. It feels like. Oh yeah, oh, I've had fun. With <laughs> Good. I think now, I got to keep white in that sky too, right around the darker clouds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. I figured I didn't have to tell you everything, but if I do, no, no, I can no. keep going, Mike. No, I can no, keep no. going all day here. Yeah, the puffy clouds are going to be. I think it's got to dry a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I think you got you hit the the value of the, the differentiation between the front red of the house and the side shadow and stuff. It does it makes that turn. I think the white just has to be a little bit darker on that one side to to get match it up. And you got to match up that same turn value. So oh, I see. Yep. White. Yep. Got it. You do that. Yep. You do that. And you got you you've got this this painting. You got this one. Jim, thanks for doing <laughs> the class. I really appreciate it. No worries, no worries. It's fun. It's not fun. I, I have fun doing this. Yeah, you got it. Okay, right. I think I got everybody.
All right. Well, then I'll see you guys uh, on later and stuff. I uh, got a few of you guys on Monday or Saturday and stuff. I'll be here. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, I, I'm going to be painting a dog next Thursday night here again. So painting, painting oh, that, little... is that the one? Thursday night already? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be on the 25th. That's the 25th. And uh, so you guys, I'll send you guys all another invite out if you guys want to make it or not. That's up to you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So you're not telling them what we're painting on Saturday, right, Jim? You, we're going to be said... painting the haystacks. Haystacks. Really? Oh, good. Instead yeah. of fruit, you better tell Mary Beth. No. John, don't tell her. Don't tell her. I don't want to. <laughs> haystacks oh, are fruit. Like the oh. rolls? Nah, these, yeah, these are kind of rolls for, okay. from Montana and stuff. It's, it's a you gorgeous. Mean like, it's a landscape. Like, uh, Van Gogh type oh. haystacks? Better than Van Gogh. You mean even better than that Monet dude? Cool. cool. We're gonna have cool. fun. We're gonna not have. We got. We got one that we can sell right off the bat. Awesome. So, <laughs> we so like it. Karen. Karen should probably have her sold by an hour after class. <laughs> she knows Karen, everyone. Making us look bad. I tell you, she's thrown down the gauntlet to us. I tell you. All you right. Up. All right, guys. We will see Night you later. Bye, Jim. Right. I'll be in. I'll be in touch, Jim. Thanks, right, Jim. Lisa. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Good night, everybody. Thank Bye. 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 Night, guys. Thanks.